a tremendous amount of work that goes into Jeep Cobra Fest. Uh, they're having a work day out here today and the Ocala Jeep Club and some of the old Florida people are out here doing some work getting this ready. So come October you'll be able to have a real real great time. But behind me over here that's the Ocala Jeep Club and they're the ones that put on the Jeep Tober event to benefit these charities. And what charities are these? Brian's All Stars, okay. Kimberly Center, Wanda yeah. Cares, and Veterans Helping Veterans. This is how everybody's gonna know that this teeter-totter was donated by Old Florida for Jeep Toberfest, and we will be here strong. Hey, we're with Randall, and we're standing on top of a pretty big pile of rocks. Uh, and this is one of the obstacles on which course? This is our moderate course. And a moderate course. So what, what are some of the uh, qualifications for a moderate course? Uh, be nice to have double lockers and 35s. And 35s. Yeah, for this course. For this course. And that includes all that stuff that's over here. Yeah. Pretty much a lot of the stuff. But there's some new areas. Yes. And what, what, are, the, what are these new areas going to be called? Uh, I haven't decided yet. It's all going to be all natural dirt, basically. So, so maybe. comment below. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, give me you, a name. Get, let, let's have a name for that. Yep. Just biles of dirt. Biles. Piles. Oh, <laughs> biles. That's almost a good name. You've been out to Jeep Toberfest in, in the past when it was out in Williston. Uh, you knew that it could get really, really hot. But here. If you notice a lot of these trails, they're under the oak trees, they're in the shade. Even the viewing area is pretty much in the shade. Here's the best thing, the vendors this year, are they still gonna be? Still be under the cover. They're gonna be under the cover. And last year we were here and it was comfortable under there. There was still a breeze and man, it was, it was nice. How many vendors have signed up this year? Uh, I think we have 60 plus maybe. Six, um, 60 plus vendors. Yeah. Yep, and giveaways? Oh, of course, tons. We always give tons of stuff away. And I hear there's a raffle for some rims. Yeah, that's Kelly's, Kelly down there. You have to yeah. talk to Kelly about that. <laughs> so there's some, there's some, get into the raffle. How would somebody get into the raffle to begin with or do they have to wait to the event? Wait to the event, come in and buy your tickets. Or have you already passed the registration of whoever gets like a free commemorative shirt? Is that already? Uh, that's, uh, I think that's up to 600. I'm not sure where the first 600 people. Yeah. I think so not, not sure. So if, I think we're not there yet. If you're, if you hear that, if they're not registered, you need to register now because you might get a commemorative shirt. Unless you were like me who was waiting for the event to go live and then <laughs> mash the button as fast as you can to try to get in there and get the lowest number possible. So, and how many people are you planning on having this year? I'm hoping more than last year. We had, yeah. uh, what, 1,296 or something like that last year. I'm hoping to have in the 15s. 15s? I'm hoping. And how many courses? Uh, two stock, a moderate, and an extreme. Okay, the two stock are how long each? One's two miles, one's a mile and a half. Okay. We're and still working on those and adding some new obstacles yeah. in those. And they're they're similar to what was last year? Yes. Okay, and then the moderate, we're, we're standing on part of the moderate yeah. right now? Got a lot of new moderate stuff. I mean, there's a lot of new moderate. Well, let's go out and take a ride okay. and we'll take a look and see what's going on out here. Uh, this is a preview for the upcoming Jeep Toberfest in 2024. Again, it's put on by the Ocala Jeep Club and the proceeds go to charities. So you're definitely helping some people out. <laughs> well, we're gonna go for a little trail preview in uh, Randall's Jeep. This Jeep is used as a Jeep should. Heavily. And Randy is driving the blue Jeep. So we got some people out here. We'll introduce you to them shortly. Now what are all these rocks and stuff over that's here? That's the extreme course that's from last the, year. It's the same last as last year. year. I'm uh that's the same, that's gonna stay the same, but I'm gonna build another one on this pile of dirt over here. All right, another so, one. Yep, there'll be a higher. Yep, be a rock pile there. Well, as you can see, the trails out here are mostly are under the trees, so it's nice and comfortable. Uh, but we're going to take a look at one of the new areas. This is that area that we we're talking about that doesn't have a name. But uh, see what you think. Yep. <laughs>
Yeah. Welcome to Jeep Toberfest Trail Preview. Trails are still in being made, but this is one of my big hills. Home of Randall's Wrecking, Wrecking Yard. Yard. All right, let's take a look at this trail over here. Hey, Fred. How we doing? Good. You ever driven off anything like this before? Nope. Hello. Look. Hey, oh. Nope. You're in four low. Lockers on. So this is new. You just saw me going down it. Randall's, Randall's going to get turned around and he's going to go up it now. What happened? I broke the ram. One of the ram lines. On your steering ram? Yeah, my steering ram. You got the hydraulic assist? Yeah. And it's not going to assist anymore. Nope. So you can't steer. Nope. Take them loose and put the new fittings on it. You know, Jeep stands for just empty every pocket. Amen to that. It's a Jeep thing. Yeah, those lines cost me $180 last time. $180, and that's called a, a PSC? Yes, yeah, a PSC full steering setup. It's got the it's got the box, the pump, everything. And the the, the line itself broke? Yep. Yeah. It, it's laying right there. It's laying in the back. I can show you. That little hydraulic line. He's got a little bypass going on it. Yep. Yeah. The PSC steering. It, the, it rotated? The ram rotated, uh -huh. came up and cut it right there. Just slice this wow. right off, see? Yeah. That heim is moving around, and this was a little loose, so it rotated backwards and came up, and this line yeah. came up, and this is, like I said, this is just bypassed out, right? It basically just sheared it right off. Wow. So, that's a, these are expensive. Yeah. So. So make sure your heims are straight. And tight, <laughs> right? Well, the ram was loose. The boat somehow the boat and the ram get got loose. Of course, when you drive it as hard as I do, yeah, you know, stuff breaks. You want to make sure that you uh, keep fluid, and if you blow out a line, you don't want to run the pump with no fluid in there because it will burn it out pretty fast. Off the Two doors ain't supposed to get stuck. Woo! You're on a rock. Back up, back up. Turn toward me. Turn passenger. Slowly, slowly. Slow, keep coming. Okay, straighten up, straighten up, straighten up. Now go forward. Randy, move the Jeep. A lot of work goes into the uh, building of the trails. There is uh, a lot of testing that has to go on to see exactly what's capable and what's not. 
and uh, when it's fresh, it's it's fun. It's fun. You can see the tracks coming down through here, and there is a there's a real big rock. Yeah, you got a rock on the bumper. Definitely, you got a rock on the bumper. That rock's definitely, uh, it moved. This way a little bit, get his tire up on top of that. Yeah, and you gotta get your tire on that one too, so turn, turn passenger, or drive, passenger, sorry. I'm sorry. There you go. In Florida, uh, unlike places like Moab and Colorado, we have to bring our rocks in. And our rocks are lime rocks because under Florida there's a lot of lime rock. And the thing about some of these rocks is they move. And what happens when they move? They always mess you up. <laughs> they, they will get you stuck. They will start rolling and lift you up. And uh, you're going to smack your bumper probably on some of them. Come in and trim up the trees. And run the drive. So you're going to have signs out here and uh, as you can see that sign right there it says uh, two door, uh, four door, that means two doors to the uh, right and four doors to the left. The reason is not to crack on four doors, a two door is a lot more nimble on the trails and able to make a whole lot better and tighter corners. Banana spiders say, oh, <laughs> let's go for a ride. Oh, did you find it? I had what went on the back of the other day. You want a hat? <laughs> <laughs> you should know where there's an empty 
bother the whole <laughs> you don't like spiders? <clears throat> we just want to get a video of you knowing Kung Fu. <laughs> there was a big banana spider there. <laughs> and there's one in front of us now, and our top is down. Here we go. Like yeah. Ready? But you still didn't Hold let on. it stop let to it. take a Hold on, he's going way up. <laughs> Wait till he gets to the top. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> there you go. It's so sticky. Straight. It is so, so sticky. I got a jingle bear. Well, mountain bike. I ate the ride early in the morning. Oh, oh, okay. I ate the ride early in the morning. I ate to have those things bouncing off my face, off my helmet. <laughs> yeah, we're doing a So coming across this field, this is, you, you come down that way over the that way over there and this is where all the trails come in uh, to start it's kind of like over toward that that bridge you just ride through the trails it's it's there's not really a trail guide or leader but when you get out into the areas like it'll, the uh, the moderate it, it'll uh, they'll have spotters out there for you so this is the start of the stock modified stock modified and what's modified mean it has a few more little obstacles that stock jeeps can do like it's got some telephone post and some rock piles nothing to, you know what what's about what size tires would be uh, 33s right? 32s 33. stock stock tires so stock stock tires stock and jeeps can do this all right not lock not don't need lockers no, no lockers four door two door gladiator no matter cj yj MJ. tj mj yeah, mj's will put us all the same <laughs> <laughs> but let's take a look at this trail. So, four wheel low is better for rock crawling because you want to go slow. If you have a standard and your gearing is not low and you put it in first gear and you're still in four low, and you're moving too fast and you're having to push the clutch in and out to try to get your speed regulated, you could burn out your clutch. So you don't want to ride your clutch. You don't really want to uh, be pushing it in and out and all the time because that does cause problems in the long run. So this is why people do lower the gears. And that's why we have four wheel low in a Jeep so that you can move nice and slow over rocks like these. No, I'm okay. You always make it look easy, Steve. <laughs> hey, Steve. Hey. Guess what? What? I got muddy boogers. Ah, you're still Skittles. Hey, how you like these trails so far? They're okay. A little, little bit more than. Yeah, a little bit more. But than you I... got lockers. Yeah. Big tires. But you want to save it because we got to you got to drive this thing home don't you yeah well not tonight because we're spending the night at a hotel Cherokee, 
can tell with the tightness of, of this particular trail, you want to keep your hands and arms inside. I know instinctively that uh, you want to stick your arm out with your phone, but uh, if you clip one of these trees and your arm is out, you probably break your arm. So please keep your hands and arms inside the vehicle. Jeep wave. <laughs> Need any spiders? good clearance I just smashed one of my long arms uh, coming off of the last pipe so this is a stock trail at Jeep Toberfest the thing about a lot of the stock trails is there are places to go around yep. so you're not bypasses. they're bypasses to go around stuff so you're not committed to it you don't want to tear stuff up that was that was a pretty hard hit that I just just took but Randall's gonna give you a little information about the Ocala Jeep Club and the Jeeptober event. Hello all. This this trail we just did was the uh, our stock modified. It has a few obstacles in it. So we're in the process of building lots and lots of new moderate course trails and some new extreme course trails. You've seen some videos on that. Uh, it's a progress in work. We have a lot of volunteers and club members that come out and help us. And uh, if you want to come to our show, just go to jeeptoberfest.com and sign up. And if you want to join a good club, we do a lot of socials, we got to eat, we do trail rides, go to ocalajeepclub.com. What happened to your fender? Thank God it's still on. Yeah, he hit a tree on his front fender. I, while I, he was looking out for the other tree. While you were looking out for the, the tree on the other side. Yeah. Hey, you know, you really shouldn't hit things with your fenders. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At least it's still on. Yeah. I ripped mine over off and ran it over. Hey, this has been a trail preview for Jeeptoberfest with the Ocala Jeep Club up at the Florida Horse Park. Uh, the trails are not quite finished. We were the first ones to ride through some of those this year <laughs> and, and, and try them out. 
but uh it has been a great time thank you guys if you have not signed up for jeeptoberfest this is one of the great events that happens yes. here y'all we we need some colder weather <laughs> come october though <laughs> yes. definitely it would be nice to have some lower than 70 degrees during the daytime it would be awesome <laughs> but come on out there is a lot of vendors yes. the vendor area is under a roof so it's shady felt really nice last year the viewing area has plenty of shade a lot of the trails have shade yeah. you can sign up at jeeptoberfest.com you saw that with with randall but thank you for coming i'm matt i'm jim i'm barbara i'm liam i'm cherry i'm fred i'm randy i'm steve and this has been florida Jean pride, Jean pride at, at jeeptoberfest in ocala, ocala florida we'll see you on the next trail you got to drive through some crazy ditches you got culverts. I'm gonna climb over these culverts. And it's easier than it would seem. Because they're kind of uh kind of got traction. There's a hole down in here that you gotta go through and climb out of. So I mean, there's some challenging stuff down in here. To to just get around that corner down into that. And then a lot more. Oh. That's a whole lot of people. Well, who doesn't like to go to Culver's and get some ice cream? Finish the trail ride and they're having a jeep meet at the culvers so there's a ton of jeeps out there and a ton of jeepers what was that hi brian's all stars for the sports and then we have our new one this year for the veterans it's called veterans helping veterans in marion county mm -hmm. um, they're awesome. a great program they're an umbrella all-encompassing so a lot of the other veteran organizations in the area actually come to them for assistance and they help kind of farm out their assistance on i got one to care as a dog rescue and all our puppies we love the jeep dogs yes and then and Kimberly, Center Kimberly Center for the Child Advocacy. Okay. Go to Jeep Toberfest because that's how we get the money for these charities, plus the Alzheimer's Association and um, a bunch of other little charities that we've helped throughout the year. Well, look what I found. I found a Rubicon Tomb Raider edition 2003. And it's number 350. 350. This is is one sweet Jeep. Thank you. I love it. I love it. Hey, thanks. Nice talking to you. Nice talking to you. We do have camping. There's the full hookup, partial hookup, and the primitive. Our partial and our primitive, I mean our full and our partial are now full. But we still have plenty of space in our primitive. And you can put a camper there. You will be just charged the camper rate and the primitive camping. What, what would you say, what would you say since you're eating ice cream to somebody who hasn't registered yet? Don't waste any more time. You're gonna miss out on a great time. And, and what happens if the registration gets full? It won't get It will never allow. We'll never allow. We don't have a cutoff. Yeah. Nope. We. Our words are just keep it coming. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. Okay. More jeepers, so, more fun. Randall, yep. go push some more trees out. More charities. We can make help. the course longer, Randall. What kind of jeeps can come out to Jeep Toberfest? All jeeps. Okay. If it's all Jeeps, if it says Jeep on your vehicle, it's a Jeep. And that means you can come out, you can play, you can do whatever you want. If you want to just spectate, spectate, but you can come out and play. That means JKs, JLs, JTs, Renegades, Compasses, all of them. And if you want to bring your Grand Wagon here and try it, you are more than welcome. But good luck and God bless. With Stephen and Jackie Marsh. Jackie Marsh, and uh, they are with the Ocala Jeep Club. How long have you been members? Uh, we've been just about a year now. Yeah. Just about a year? Yeah. And uh, what made you decide to become members of the Ocala Jeep Club? Well, we went to the uh, Jeep Toberfest last year and uh, really enjoyed it. And the people were real nice. And uh, we wanted to 
it was we, new to the Jeep world. We just got a, had gotten a Jeep, and uh, they go on trail rides, and uh, seem to have a real nice organization, uh, good uh, good people. So we we wanted to like the community. We uh, we joined then, and. Uh, Tell me about your Mojave. Okay, so we got the Mojave when we uh, we bought a motorhome. We recently retired, bought a motorhome, and we wanted something we could flat tow, and uh, also something with a little bit more comfortable ride, and maybe we could take some overlanding camping also. Awesome. So that seemed to work to fill the bill for us. Yep. And you served. Yes, yes, I was in the Navy. In the Navy for? For six years on submarines. Six years. Well, thank you for your service. Oh. It's uh, appreciative. And, and did you serve? No. You say anything. Well, she was, I, I served as a spouse, which is yeah. a big, which that, is. That's very, uh, that, yeah, that is a lot, really. I mean, def, definitely. Made of leather, what's made of leather, it sounds like a sneeze. I don't know. A shoe. Oh, my God. It's the overtime. Though. It's, it's overtime. A, okay. It's on for the, the charities. It's for the charities. Okay. And what charities would those be? Brian's All Star, okay. Kimberly Center, Wanda yeah. Cares, and Veterans Helping Veterans. God, you got me this time. Yeah, I did. Seatbelt. Is there supposed to be more to that than this? Yeah, it goes. No. It's made for a skinny person, I think. <laughs> All right, Randall, say it again. Randall, suck in your gut this time. <laughs> that joke. <laughs> but Randall's going to give you some information. No, no, like that. Bryant's All Star, which for the yeah. exceptional children, the sport. <laughs> What is that? The what?